With the world's population predicted to exceed 10 billion by 2050, developing sustainable food sources is more crucial than ever. To address the growing need for food, innovative solutions are required, and one of these possibilities might be high-tech fish farming. This high-tech fish aquaculture is expected to replace cattle farming in the near future. What part does Israel play in all of this? Can aquaculture completely replace cattle farming in the near future? What does Dr. Ronnie Hockman Sussman have to say about aquaculture replacing cow farming? How has Israeli fish farming evolved with time? Let's dive in. Scientists and entrepreneurs are attempting to discover new alternatives which can feed the entire globe without wasting too many of its resources as the climate continues to warm and cattle farming becomes less of an appealing answer for global food supply. While it is true that aquaculture or modern fish farming is a positive development, the industry's present practices still have their own share of problems. However, if we can figure out how to make aquaculture work, it might dramatically change how we feed the globe. Aquaculture technology firms and inventors in Israel are searching for solutions that can help them achieve this goal. They are coming up with new and improved techniques for extracting food from the ocean. Aqualtech is led by Ronnie Hochman Sussman, who is a biologist. This is a collaborative effort between the Israeli government's ministries of economy and industry and agriculture, as well as the Israel Innovation Authority and the Israel Innovation Institute. She's been working in farming and fisheries for more than 10 years now. Sussman is also the director of AgriIsrael's forthcoming See the Future Symposium, which will attract international investors to Eilat to learn about the aquaculture solutions produced by Israeli firms and provide funding for the sector's further growth and development. Aquaculture is the future, according to Sussman, who spoke at length about its significance and the advantages it has over conventional farming in an interview. In what ways may aquaculture help address issues plaguing conventional farming, the interviewer asks. Dr. Roney says that traditional farming requires a lot of space. In fact, nowadays, food crops occupy 80% of the world's agricultural land. As a result of the need for pesticides and other chemical inputs, the land on which it is grown also becomes polluted. The world's population is projected to hit 10 billion by 2050. With so many mouths to feed, the world simply won't have enough arable land or fresh water to continue producing food at the present rate. That is why aquaculture is the ideal replacement for the current system of food production. By 2050, the global population is predicted to exceed 10 billion people. These people will need to eat. And if fish producers continue to produce food in the same way they do now, there simply won't be enough to go around, particularly given the present arid climate. So that is why aquaculture is believed to be an excellent replacement for the current system. Dr. Roney also says that you need to put in 7 kilograms of food for every kilogram of beef you get. Aquaculture is a sustainable food source since it only takes one kilogram of food to produce one kilo of fish. That's an insane amount of money when you compare it to cattle farming. You also don't require as much area as you would if you were raising cattle. There is evidence that fish farms generate unhealthy fish compared to fishing. Can this problem be solved by aquaculture? Can you tell me what steps Israel is doing to safeguard the quality of fish we're raising? The interviewer asks. Dr. Roney says that the Israeli academic community cares deeply about fish population health and long-term viability. We are attempting to strike a balance between production and fish well-being. To avoid unhealthy conditions for fish, you should avoid both overcrowding and undercultivating your pools. It's a delicate balancing act, and each business must maintain its own fish farming pools. In my opinion, the fast development of AI has also resulted in the widespread implementation of AI across all technological domains. Is AI already used in aquaculture and do you expect it to have a significant influence on the industry going forward? Asked the interviewer. Dr. Roney said, Artificial intelligence is the wave of the future in any field. 
Because of this uncertainty, overfeeding occurs often in today's traditional ocean aquaculture practices that rely on nets. An Israeli firm called GoSmart operates all over the globe, and they utilize artificial intelligence to monitor fish feeding habits in order to provide them with just the right quantity of food at the right moment. In today's world, you can find artificial intelligence solutions for most every task. Because AI can interpret fish behavior that is invisible to the human eye, it may be also used to forecast health concerns based on subtle changes in fish behavior. It can also foresee how pests would affect your swimming pools, nets, or other facilities. Artificial intelligence is unquestionably something that will be used much more in the future. Israel's economy is becoming more dependent on the fast-growing agriculture sector, which is fish farming. One of the most rapidly growing industries in the country's agricultural sector in recent years, fish farming produces a wide range of fish species for the commercial market. This growth is primarily credited to governmental and private expenditures in innovative technologies designed to boost output and efficiency. Through a variety of incentive schemes including direct financial help, tax exemptions, and feed subsidies, the Israeli government has also played a significant role in encouraging fish farming. Because of this aid, local producers have been able to grow their businesses and get access to more global markets. Many Israeli companies can now satisfy the enormous demand in places like Japan and Europe, where imports from other nations have been banned owing to health concerns. Since the country's earliest days, fish farming in Israel played a significant economic role. One of the world's largest fish producers, with an annual output of over 11 million tons, this nation is a major player in the industry, since it generates both employment and economic development. Fish farming has become an important source of income for many families and towns in Israel. The nation has a thriving fish farming business because of its exceptional freshwater resources and its highly trained labor force. Along with this, the government provides a wide range of tax credits and subsidies to lure businesses into the industry. Because of these reforms, Israel is now a major global supplier of farmed fish like tilapia and carp. Israeli businesses are also leading the way in cutting-edge aquaculture technology, which is boosting output while lowering expenses and negative effects on the environment. Thanks to developments in technology, fish farming in Israel has become a thriving sector. The Middle Eastern country has been engaging in this kind of aquaculture since ancient times, but new technologies have enabled even higher yields. Israel is at the forefront of fish farming innovation due to its heavy investment in research and development of cutting-edge techniques. Due to these investments, Israeli fish farmers are now able to produce more fish of better quality than ever before. Automated feeding systems and high-tech water filtration equipment are two examples of cutting-edge technology used to keep today's farms functioning smoothly and effectively. Israel also makes use of cutting-edge, closed-cycle technology in their fish farming operations to guarantee sustainability in the face of environmental changes and disease outbreaks, which may cause a lot of problems for fish farmers. When it comes to agricultural exports, Israel's fish farming business is crucial, since it supplies a large portion of the country's annual protein needs. Since the late 1970s, when it passed a law allowing private fish farms to be developed, the Israeli government has been heavily engaged in this sector. Thanks to their efforts, the number of fish farms has exploded since then, becoming one of the most important revenue streams for farmers throughout the nation, which is amazing. Israel's ability to feed its people and meet the growing demand for seafood is in large part due to the country's thriving fish farming industry. Many Israelis have benefited from its economic stability and the new jobs it has created. Fish farming has enabled Israel to grow beyond conventional agricultural boundaries, resulting in more secure food for its population. With aquaculture playing such an important part in the Israeli economy, it'll be fascinating to see how it evolves over time.